here in Austria for the first time. We're racing in GP2, very slow start from Chicano, great start from Bonanza, who's straight up into the lead. A wonderful start from the Brazilian, and also up the inside. Is that Mitch Evans? I think it is. And almost contact with Palmer. Three into one, do not go, and that's contact definitely with the racing engineering of Coletti, who gets back on in third place, and Palmer's lost a huge amount of spaces. Coming down there through turn one, now up into turn two, Giacotto trying to get straight around Felipe Nasa, but he has the measure of him. A great, great start from the Brazilian as we get a little bit of bunching we'll into there. around the outside, no, no, you bunch off. And Coletti then, third, Palmer, fourth behind Evans, and then that is Van Dorn as Harry Anto takes it to Izawa. And Marcello, terrible start for him, losing a number of places as Palmer tries to go around the outside of Coletti, who will edge him over the rumble strips and almost onto the grass. Very staunch defence then from Stefano Coletti, but a great start from Nazar. There you see Nazar get that jump on Chicotto. A wonderful move, great reaction from Felipe Nazar. And there the three drivers all bunch up, so lucky not to make contact. Ah, they, they contact a bit, but no damage to all three of them. And this then was what happened to Artem Markalov. Oh, into the back Jesus. of the Arden, and that's... Uh, that's a, uh, a real shame for uh, for Markelov after a great start. Excellent job, mate. Well done. Oh, and Van Dorn. Yeah, he's in the inside now. So nearly uh, collecting Evans there. They nearly touched. Rossi getting in on the action as well, but having to hold back in that fight with Peak. Defends beautifully, and Van Dorn up the inside of Evans. That Good. is the move. Good move. That's the position. Lovely stuff then from Stoffel van Dorn and look at how much Chicotto is now struggling on those prime tyre. Here's that battle between Chicotto, oh, Coletti, Coletti Palmer in, has in the uh, inside, back yeah. and up the inside, Good lovely. Move. They're on the same oh, tyre and Palmer. now Palmer's going for it. Yeah, he's inside. Knew he had to make the most of that as uh, Chicotto just lost a bit of momentum coming out of two in that move from Stefano Coletti and Palmer immediately takes advantage gets past Johnny Chicotto so from pole position Chicotto now down to fourth place look at this Marcello's got the bit between his teeth and is gunning for Alexander Rossi through turn one. Oh, look at that so much pace through turn one from Marcello as Rossi had his mirrors full of him and I think was more concerned with his mirrors than he was of nailing that corner and Marcello takes the advantage to Rossi up the inside of him into turn two should have this absolutely sewn up and it's a great move from Marcello which was born of a brilliant exit onto the start finish straight but Rossi immediately back into the slipstream tucks up underneath him and will want to go for the inside into the right hander at three Marcello though goes to cover Rossi's gonna have to go around the outside can he do it late on the brakes from the American Marcello has him yeah has him covered great stuff from Marcello lovely two beautiful moves of position but Rossi doesn't want to let him go Look at all that brake dust coming out of Trummer and a locked front right as well. Trummer's really struggling. Oh, oh, oh. and uh, was that Van Dorn having a look up the inside of him? Yes, indeed, Van Dorn up the inside of Trummer and Palmer's coming through as well. Hanging off his tailcoat, Jolien Palmer makes the move too and will be right with Van Dorn. This could be for the lead of the race when the pit stops play out. It could even be for the win. Van Dorn and Palmer go at it, Palmer having recouped that two-second gap as Van Dorn got held up behind Trummer. Marcello needs to make the move as well to hang on to these guys. He can't let them go. This is it, up into turn two, then Marcello on Trummer. Oh, Laid on the yeah. brakes and Trummer, yeah, I think Good. discretion being the better part of valour for Trummer there. Van Dorn can't concentrate on Daly right now because Palmer is coming oh. for him. They both go up the inside of Daly. Do they make contact? I think a little contact between Daly and Palmer. Daly though has gone very scrappy through there and that's allowed Marcello through and Marcello now is right back in this fight. Right back in the fight with Palmer and Van Dorn. Van Dorn nipped up the inside of Daly. Palmer came through too and Van Dorn really taking advantage on that. That was a great move Van Dorn. Came out of nowhere. Totally. Here's the replay then. Daly looking at Elinaz and up the inside out of nowhere Van Dorn was defending from Palmer and then went I'm coming through and Palmer says I've got to go through as well Chicotto's in the pits he was in third this will be key to the race result where will Chicotto come out needs a good stop from the Trident team and he's going to put on softs now so he's going to be quicker than all the other guys less fuel fresher tyres 
and softer tyres. In comes Chicotto on his marks. Oh, look at all that brake dust come out. Keep it cool, keep it cool. There we go, it's a nice tidy stop from Trident. And away goes Chicotto, and there are the leaders. They will get ahead then of Chicotto, so third place man will fall behind. Oh, Ross is coming as well. Palmer, he'll fall behind Van Dorn, he's fallen behind Marcello, and Rossi with a big rear end. I think the, the rear end was trying to get through the corner before the front end for Rossi, but with the, the, the warmer tyres, Rossi could take advantage coming up here into turn two. Chicotto will defend from Alexander Rossi. Around Rossi the tries outside. to go on the outside. Oh, wow! And uh, Rossi has to take off the track to try and pass Chicotto. Can't do it. Oh, look at all of that dust coming off. And it's smooth from those boys. Good stop from it's the Carlin boys. Great stop from Carlin. And out comes Nazza holding that advantage over Coletti. There though, start of the start finish straight is Van Dorn. He's not going to do it. And on the older tyres as well. These guys, oh, but might they get around Coletti? Coletti a little oh, puff Marcello, of smoke. Marcello was on the inside of Palmer. Wow, yeah. what a move from Marcello. That was a good move. And Van Dorn straight on to Stefano Coletti for second in the race. Van Dorn around the outside now. Stefano Coletti coming up the hill into turn two. Who will be later on the brakes? It will be Van Dorn who takes that advantage. Lovely move from Stoffel Van Dorn. Marcello will have a look at his teammate as well. What a brilliant move from Marcello on Palmer through turn one. Yeah. Wonderful stuff. Palmer didn't expect that. No, he did not, and he's trying to get past him now as well. Round the outside under braking is Marcello. Oh. Has a look at the uh, rear wing of his teammate and just edges Palmer to the side of the track. And good stuff from Raffaele Marcello. Here we go, he's lining up his teammate now. Marcello on one, older, one. harder tyres yeah, yeah. up the inside exactly as he did to Palmer. And Palmer's going to try and get through as well now on Coletti, who has to defend from the championship leader. Great racing from Marcello. Good defence from Coletti and Palmer wants to get through. Can't do it, switch back. Coletti was third, now it's this man because of this move. Marcello up the inside of his teammates. Beautiful, good move. Marcello is raising his game as Rossi, not for the first time today. Gets the back end stepping out on him through turn one as he takes a bit too much curb. And Mitch Evans can smell, can smell that seventh place now. Riding past Rossi on the softer tyre. Rossi locks up. Evans will get it on the switchback on the softer rubber. Surely back in the slipstream on Rossi. Rossi defends. Evans will have to go around the long way on the fresher, stickier, grippier rubber. And it's now working out for Evans. Lovely move, and Rossi pretty much a sitting duck. Nothing he can do. But Philippe Benazza has done everything right. Everything under control, all race long. Wins the race with almost four seconds ahead. Down the straight, and Philippe Benazza do Brasil wins once again in GP2. A phenomenal victory for Philippe Benazza. He's led from lights to flag. A brilliant win for Felipe Nazza from Stoffel van Dorn who gets back to the point, back to the podium and Marcello, his first podium in GP2 and honestly, with Coletti and Chicotto coming out on the soft attire I don't think we could have foreseen either van Dorn or Marcello making the podium today given the pace advantage we thought those other guys would have a great race, van Dorn, P2, Marcello third uh, then Coletti